Hello everyone. The topic of my presentation today is advanced metering infrastructure in smart grids. My name is Hamad Hassan. So let's get started. These are some contents which I am going to cover in this presentation, including introduction, what is AMI, components of AMI, and uh, benefits and challenges of AMI. So the present system of energy metric system using electromechanical and digital meters, it consumes a lot of time and labor. Also, they have very low accuracy as compared to smart meters. So it is uh, highly recommended in the electrical billings, electricity billing uh, system to use smart meters. So basically, uh, why we are using uh, we are using uh, we have to in, uh, introduce smart meters in our energy management systems. We are con because we are converting basically a conventional smart grid into smart grid, and for that we need advanced metering infrastructure. So uh, what is basically AMI? AMI basically is advanced metering, metering infrastructure which is a whole infra, uh, infrastructure from smart meters to two-way communication between the customers and utility. And also it, uh, uh, we have, uh, it, trans, uh, it enables uh, the transfer of energy from uh, uh, in real time. And also it is basically a two-way communication uh, among customers. And this is uh, from this diagram, we can see it is a basically advanced metering infrastructure. Uh, so uh, in the house, we have smart appliances, which send data to smart meters, which uh, uh, uses two-way communication uh, and send this data, uh, power data or energy data to cloud, uh, to this uh, smart grid operation management system or cloud storage uh, through this uh, smart meter, smart grid network. Which may be uh, which may be a, a power line communication system or broadband over power line and also fiber optics. So in a smart uh, uh, advanced metering infrastructure, we have uh, renewable energy sources and also conventional energy energy sources which are interconnected through through this uh, through this uh, power line communication. So uh, these are some components in advanced metering infrastructure, which includes the main component is smart meters, uh, wide area communication infrastructure, home area networks, and also meter data management systems. And the last one is operational gateways. So I'm going to discuss this these one by one. Uh, smart meters. Smart meters have the capacity to collect information about energy, real power, harmonics, and also it can uh, calculate uh, consumer data, uh, for example, uh, price forecasting and also uh, energy forecast. So the second component is uh, communication infrastructure. In uh, communications infrastructure, we have two types of uh, communication. One is from this customer side to this uh, 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 customer side to these power lines and then uh, through power lines uh, we send data to uh, cloud storage and energy management systems for further uh, processing so the first one is uh, from uh, houses and all these buildings to these power lines this may be a uh, wi-fi or um, uh, bluetooth because uh, or also it can be power line communication networks and from power lines to these utility companies we send data through fiber optic network and uh, wireless network, and also broadband power over power line networks. So the third component is home area networks. In a home area, in a home, we have smart appliances, which are interconnected with each other using uh, Wi-Fi, Zigbee, or Bluetooth. And then these, uh, the energy data or power data of these appliances is uh, sent to the smart meters, which send data to internet, and based on which we have uh, the further uh, we have the uh, uh, calculations like energy forecasting or uh, price uh, forecasting. So, uh, this uh, fourth uh, component is MDMS, which stands for Meter Data Management System. Uh, in a meter data management system, is basically a data uh, database which collects data from uh, smart meters, which is basically 
uh, consumer data and uh, on the basis of this data it uh, uh, did some, it do some processes and uh, and it gives output in the form of billing and settlements energy demand forecast and also uh, energy price uh, forecasting so the last component is operational gateways operational gateways com covers three kinds uh, three topics which are uh, which is advanced uh, advanced distribution operations which covers the uh, uh, distribution automation and uh, advanced transmission operations which includes the uh, the, uh, the uh, operations related to transmission side management systems for example pmu or also uh, this uh, load forecasting and the third one is uh, advanced at, uh, asset management system so after these uh, all these components we have covered all these components uh, we come to the point that what are basically benefits of ami the benefits of ami first benefit is operational benefit which include that ami benefits the whole entire grid by improving the accuracy of meter reading and also it can detect energy theft uh, and also it can res uh, quickly respond uh, respond to power outages while eliminating the need for on site meter reading or so uh, the th th second one is financial benefits in financial benefit it include uh, it provide benefit in the form of finance uh, for example in case of power outage or in case of power failure it reduces the price of equipment and maintenance cost and provide a faster restoration of electrical services so the third one third benefits include in uh, which is customer benefit so ami benefit electrical customer electric customers by detecting meter failures also they can provide uh, energy forecast uh, price forecasting and also they can provide uh, benefit to the customer by detecting meter failures also they can provide accommodation in the form of faster service restoration and also they can provide uh, accurate billing which can help customer to save money despite it has some wide uh, range of benefit the ami also has some challenges which include the first challenge is high uh, capital cost because we have to uh, as we have to apply this concept on a whole uh, smart grid we have to uh, spend expenditures on hardware software and also we, uh, we have to implement smart meters uh, and besides this we have to uh, implement the two-way communication in network infrastructure which is uh, very costly so the second challenge is basically integration uh, because it uh, has to be in, uh, it has to be integrated uh, in, uh, on the customer side and also the utility side and the third one is standardization so uh, this is a main challenge because it uh, all the communication between smart grids uh, all the communication between uh, customers and the utilities have to be on same standard Concluding all this uh, we come to the point that advanced meeting infrastructure allow utility company companies to have first hand information uh, regarding uh, customers uh, power and energy data and also based on this data they can provide uh, energy billing uh, energy billing and also uh, energy forecasting and also it is a basically a, a new concept so it needs a little bit improvements in the areas of con, uh, communication and data analysis and also the control schemes these are some references so thank you for the listening